done his MDiv here in Southern Baptist Theological Seminary uh, and did his doctoral work other elsewhere. Um, he's been uh, the pastor of this church, I think, for more than 10 years, and he's got 10 churches in Ethiopia that he oversees, a network of churches that he oversees there uh, in Addis Ababa and other places around the country of Ethiopia. So he is going to come and share a, a short message on the persecuted church. So will you give us a really warm welcome for Pastor Ezekiel? So I'm here today to preach for about 10 minutes on persecuted Christians or churches around the world. Praise God. Uh, I want to take you first to uh, Matthew chapter 5. I'm going to read and then pray for prayer and then go from there. Matthew chapter 5, verse 10, from the Beatitude from the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, verse 10, Matthew 5, verse 10. Blessed are those, blessed are they which are persecuted for the righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall rebel you and persecute you and shall say all manners of evil against you falsely or for my sake. Rejoice and be glad. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great, for great is your Reward in heaven for so persecuted, for, for so they persecuted the prophets which were before you. Praise God, let's pray. Father God, I thank you for this time. I thank you for uh, this fellowship. Father God, as I speak right now, let that grace be among us. Father, you speak, you preach. Father God, use this session for thy glory. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The, the theme of persecution runs from Genesis to Revelation. It's one of the main, the main things in the scripture you can find from, from Genesis to Revelation. For example, the first prophecy, the, the first prophecy that was prophesied ever was, you can find in, in, in Genesis 3.15, where it say, the seed of the serpent will crush or strike or persecute the seed of the woman. Right? So, so, we see for the first time, for the first time, that prophecy being fulfilled in chapter 4, right there in chapter 4. We see in chapter, just chapter 4, uh, Cain killing his brother Abel. You see, Cain killed his own brother Abel. And then you can run through all the scriptures. Then, then you come to, to Joseph. We see Joseph being hated and sold by his own brothers. We see Moses, he has to run for his life. We see David hunted by King Saul all his life. And then when, 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 when you come to Matthew chapter 1 and 2, the Messiah was born, and King Herod tried to kill him. He killed many, many children who were under two in, in, in Bethlehem and around Jerusalem. Then, then you come to Revelation chapter, chapter 12. Revelation chapter, chapter, Revelation chapter, chapter 12. You see the big Dragon seven heads, the big red dragon. 
the big red dragon trying to attack the beautiful woman and her son and her other children. So persecution is all of the scriptures. So if you are a Christian and if you don't want to be persecuted, well, you are in the wrong place. <laughs> you are in the wrong place. You see, persecution is, is the seed or the means which God uses to bless his church. Tertullian, one of the great theologians in history, said the, 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 the blood of the martyrs, the, 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 the blood of the saints is the seed of the church. Right? The, the blood of the saints is the seed of the church. What does it mean? When you kill a Christian in some way, guess what? There you will see a church being planted in that area, in that location. So, when Christians are persecuted, it's in one side, it's sad, it's very uh, uh, not, 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 not appealing, but on the other side, God uses that for his own glory. Praise God. Praise the Lord. And when we see the uh, apostles, the apostles, all of them died, maybe except the one, uh, the, 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 the little martyrs. Let, let me just go through. Uh, uh, Simon Peter, Simon Peter was crucified upside down in, in Rome. John, the son of Zebedee, was the only apostle who died peacefully. But then, even himself, he was boiled, he was boiled in a bubbling oil. Can you imagine? But then came out alive miraculously. miraculously. But then, and then sent to uh, the, the island called Patmos. To, 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 to work as a minor in a, in a prisoner. That's where, that, that's, that's where he received the message of revelation. But then came back to Ephesus, preached the gospel, and, and, and died all age peacefully. Praise God. And then when we, when, when we see uh, his brother, James, that's in Acts 2 12, you can, that's, that's the easy part. He was. He, he was his, he was killed by Herod and Agrippa. Uh, and then Andrew, the brother of uh, Peter, he was died by crucifixion on an ex shepherd cross in southern Greece. Philip was tortured and crucified in Asia Minor in today's Turkey. Uh, Bartholomew was skinned alive and beheaded in Armenia. Thomas preached the gospel in India and died by the spear. Matthew, after preaching the gospel in Ethiopia, we also have some share. Just sad. Matthew, after preaching the gospel in Ethiopia, killed by sword. James, the son of Alphaeus, was beaten with club and stoned to death in Armenia. Thaddeus, or Jude, was beaten and crucified in a desert in today's Turkey. Simon the, the Zealot preached the gospel in Persia, today's Iran, and, and uh, crucified upside down and then sold in half. Can you imagine that? Uh, uh, Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus, he committed suicide, right? And, and hung himself. Uh, James, the brother of Jesus, was thrown from the pinnacle of the temple in Jerusalem, thrown like 100 uh, feet down, down. And, and then and somehow he was, he was, he was, he was uh, spared, spared, but then he was beaten by club and, and died. Uh, and then the, the Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul, uh, my God, when I, when I go to heaven, I want to see, one of the things I want to see is Paul. Paul, he was, he was beheaded in, in, in Rome, in Rome. So you see, the scriptures, our forefathers, 
the apostles, the prophets, they were persecuted, they were jailed, they were beaten, they were tortured, they were killed. In, in, in the history of Roman Empire, Christians were, were held together, uh, hands together, and as they were singing, they would talk, they would uh, lit a fire, and they were, they were being used as a, as, as a light for, the, for, for their uh, celebration. And as they, were, as they were being killed by this, by this fire, they were singing, singing, praising, praising, praising God. And the, the only time they, 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 they could stop singing is when they die, when the fire melts them. You grumble because you check your, your bank account is going down. You complain because of your health. Well, look at these people. They were praising God as they were being set on fire. They were shouting for God's glory. Giving, giving praise as they were dying. Come on, give me praise, give me glory. Serve me. If you follow me, are they good? No, 
a poor guy. I said, what? Follow you and serve you? Who are you to, serve, to follow you and serve you? They said, you don't know me. I said, I don't know who you are. He said, I am the dragon of the wilderness. Was demonic agent, right? I'm the dragon of the wilderness. Then I started praying in tongues. Because I'm, I'm, facing, I'm facing this giant from hell, you know, the demonic agent. So I started praying in tongues. And I, and I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, go away from me. You have no part in my life. Go away. And he left and went, preached the gospel, and came back saved me. Praise God. Give that to Give that to So, today, when you go through some tough time because of your Christian faith, home, school, workplace, anywhere, remember, Jesus said, Rejoice! Rejoice! Be glad! Rejoice! Because that shows your faith alive. That shows you are provoking the devil. That shows your Christian life is active and, 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 and well. Rejoice because your reward in heaven is great and high. Praise God. Praise the Lord. But again, I thank you for this message. I pray for our brothers and sisters around the world who are going through a tough time in, in Eritrea, in Ethiopia, in, in Nigeria, in Libya, Iran, Iraq, China, uh, around the world, Father God. Pray for them that you give, give, give them courage and thy spirit. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you.